Welcome back to CryptoByte everyone. As you can see, I've been not up to date with my daily news channel as I've promised to you guys because I realized I don't really have much time. I've decided to dedicate a video based on each project that comes out that I think is going to be a gem in the near future or in the long term. So in this video, I'm going to fully dedicate it to Orbit and the freeway token. So we're going to look at what is Orbit, the apps and the team and the roadmap also a bit of potential game changing regulatory infrastructure that they have in place and they're planning to do the app launch very soon and we're going to mainly look at the freeway token which is the native token for the orbit apps which they hopefully are going to release very shortly we're going to look at that and when it's going to come out and what the freeway token actually means and the most important we had a lot of people come in the telegram asking what is the market cap about token basically just token metrics and I want to focus at around five to 10 minutes time talking about token metrics, how much circulating supply we have right now and what's going to be coming further in the line, how much issuance in six months, 12 months, just to give you a clear idea, because this is very important. OK, what I do is I invest in projects and I look at this almost as one of those things that if I don't like it, even if the project looks good, I wouldn't really invest in it because it's important. I'm investing in the token, right? I'm not investing really in the project. But obviously, the better the project performs, the better the token will perform. So it, it's bo both very important. But if I can't see my investment doing a nice 10, 50, 100x, I wouldn't really go into a pre-sale. Then I would just wait and see what comes out. But I go into the pre-sale of freeway token and I'll tell you guys why as I'm talking about the token metrics. I'm also going to be showing to you guys where you can purchase the freeway tokens if you're planning to. Also at the graph and the socials. Also big, big news recently that came out two days ago. We're going to be looking at that. So let's start the video. Starting off with the website. So what is Orbit? Orbit is a groundbreaking new asset management platform built for greater total returns on the world's top investment products and asset classes. And also the Orbit Network Enhanced Asset Management Model was designed so user account asset volume grows over time. So what they're doing is basically they're giving 80% of the revenues back to the people. So if you hold any kind of stock, 80% of the fee if someone else after you buys the stock those fees get basically distributed to any of those stockholders and we're going to be looking at it more now and we have basically growth on every trade this is what i was talking about just now growth on every trade when an orbit network product is traded 80 percent of product related transaction revenues are automatically redistributed back to every product holder so for example if you were to hold an orbit network gold bullion product and they have other kinds of products, but let's assume that you're going to buy a gold bullion product. Your gold holdings would increase every time anyone anywhere in the world trades that Orbit Network gold bullion product. So in traditional asset management, such as like trading 212, Robinhood, any other things, even Binance and Coinbase, when you buy your Bitcoin, when you buy your gold bullion, when you buy your stocks, it stays very static. So it's not changed in this app and what orbit is allowing to do basically it's allowing you to increase your holdings it could be whatever you they have basically stocks they have bonds they have gold bullions bitcoin and institutional lending programs for now but if you are interested in any of that there's no reason why not to go to the orbit app and actually get a nice nice little percentage even if it's one or two percent extra in gold extra in bitcoin extra in stocks i mean it's gonna be for free so why not you know what i mean so a lot of apps have successfully launched just within the last few years such as Robinhood. they basically come with reduced fees right they claim they are for free but they're not really for free they are very reduced fees compared to the old traditional ones and they've got millions of millions of users but what orbit is doing different unlike simply reducing the fees redistributing revenues creates network effects opening the door to big tech like exponential growth as users could see greater total returns not available anywhere else they are a great team i've analyzed them very very thoroughly and i've realized that wow such a great team good brains and they have worked in many companies so they have quite a lot of advisors and they have actually targeted something that has never been targeted before obviously 
We have a lot of places where you can buy stocks and bonds and gold bullions. You can even stake them. But imagine you just have an app where you buy gold bullion or Bitcoin or Tesla stock or Apple stock and it just grows time over time. And as you can see, why we're talking about network effects a lot here is because as the app and the network itself gets bigger, so will the revenues. And if you're one of the first people also to buy that certain stock from the app, you will see the most gains. But also you could be like very late in line and still receive very good revenues as the network actually effect takes in place year by year. So we've got rapid big tech like mass adoption. Orbit may need just thousands of users to achieve critical network mass. And that's because the Orbit model functions on trading volume, rather user numbers. So simulations suggest that Orbit network could reach critical mass with just a few thousand users. And that's amazing. So we don't even need that big of a community, let's say. And I think it will be a big, but let's say we only have a few thousand um, the way I see that and the way they see that is that as long as the volume is there, we all going to get a nice share of the revenue back. I mean, 80% is back. They could easily have said 50% and everyone would have still be fantastic. Everyone, everything would still be great. But to give 80% of the revenues, I mean, that's incredible to see. Very excited for the app release, actually. And you can manage all of your Orbit holdings from one place. So they have an app that they hopefully going to release very, very soon. And this is why I'm talking about this project. It's a gem. And I want everyone that is watching this video to jump on the wave, even if it's $1,500. You know, this is not financial advice, though. Your money could be in risk. It could go down to zero. But I have not seen a project like this in the last three to four years. OK, so this is great. Now I want to take you guys on another thing that the Orbit app will potentially have a game-changing regulatory infrastructure that could give millions of previous underserved retail users access to the Orbit network. So we know that a lot of people that might want to invest in stocks, in Bitcoin, in gold bullion, whatever, are restricted based to regulatory issues in their country or their city. And what Orbit is doing, they're doing synthetic-like stocks in a way that anyone almost can invest in the whole world. So you can see here that retail users and institutional professional participation plan and that's all around the world almost then we have institutional professional participation only and that's around here so we know that here you you need to be an institutional professional participate participant and then restricted is a few countries which is fair you can't have every country in the world uh, being allowed but the fact that so many 180 plus countries okay they are giving them access to simply use the application to just buy or sell their stocks and why they hold their stocks in the app, it's also growing. So before I'm going to talk about the freeway token, which is basically the native token of the Orbit app products. And before I'm going to talk thoroughly about the token metrics and where to buy it and their socials. And before I'm going to finish off also, I want to start talking to you about the team. OK, and this is for me very important. As important as the token metrics, I look at the team and I analyze them and I research them. I Google them. I check their LinkedIn. I see where they've worked. Is this true? Is this false? We have seen a lot of scams and I can guarantee you guys that from my research as far as I am aware and this is not financial advice that this team is 100% okay they're not playing around they're here to disrupt the market not just the crypto market but also all kinds of other markets so Orbit's management team and advisors have worked at some of the largest financial and technology companies in the world including Goldman Sachs Fidelity HSBC Credit Suisse Morgan Stanley IBM Google and the Prudential and this is great here. Like when I looked at this page, I was shocked. I was like, wow, because most projects these days, they just have advisors like YouTubers. OK, I mean, I'm a new YouTuber. I know quite a, a, a few things in crypto, but in two, three years, when I know even more, when I have even more um, subscribers and, and viewers and they come to me as an advisory, it'll be great for me. But when I look at the project and they have just a three, four advisors that are YouTubers, Depends what the YouTuber knows, but I kind of see it more as a hype coin because they're trying to hype the coin. They're trying to market it. As you can see with the freeway token and the orbit uh, project, they're not actually trying to market it as much. They've been three years in stealth mode, guys. They've been building and had the investors, early investors three years ago. 
I never heard about them. I'm sure you never heard about them three years ago, but here it is now coming and it's coming very strong. We have an advisory team of almost like, I don't know, I haven't counted it, but it looks more, more than 20 people. More than 20 people, great kinds of people. I've read, I've read all of this and I mean the experience that is coming from just the advisory team. It is almost like one of those projects that I can't see fail, okay? And it's already done a 7, 8, 9x. I don't know how much the price is run, I'm not really following anymore. But it's done a great, great, um, potentially, maybe even a 10x very soon we're going to see. And we haven't even started. It hasn't even been marketed yet. And let's see if they have more. Okay, we're going to go through the roadmap. But I want to take you guys in the website because I think it looks a bit prettier this way. So we have October 2017. The project was founded and they started the project. The name is Chosen. So they chose the name Orbit. How? Because AU as an O is the chemical symbol for gold and bit to denote your their digital focus. So combined Orbit. It means the gold standard in digital finance. And that's what they're trying to become. They're, becoming, they're trying to become the gold standard in digital finance. And I can see them in two, three years, definitely being in one of the top leagues out there. Then we've got 2018. We've got legal work begins regarding regulatory considerations. Core team and advisors are added and ideation, refinement and development continued until 2019 when they had the early seed equity round. Pre-alpha versions developed and they had $1 million in early seed equity round completed and proof of concept developed. And then this year we had the project announcement, late seed equity round, main development and regulatory infrastructure. So we, they have worked a lot in regulatory, okay? And now they're building the app properly and hopefully very closely they are done. But the regulatory issues are everywhere. We've seen it and they are in different countries. So they made sure that they are fine when it comes to the regulatory infrastructure. And this is what I like to see. Okay, I don't like to invest in something that's going to do 100x in one month. And then in two, three years, I'm just going to get shut off because of they haven't done anything good in regulatory infrastructure or maybe in six months. Because I'm not that kind of person that pulls out in the first month or two months. Okay, I when I invest in a project, especially private pre-sale, I look at the two years minimum. Two years, that's what I'm looking at. One to two years, depending on how I'm going to take some profits. I ain't going to lie. I will take some profits based on how much I will have there. But I'm not looking to sell freeway tokens or any other project that has started anytime soon. Q4, subject to change, but they are hopefully having the Orbit chain testnet and the private alpha of the application. And you can join the app waiting list now if you want to be invited to the beta. Okay, so now this is too late for the private alpha, but they will Q, Q1 of 2021. They will have an invite only beta, public beta, and Orbit Chain mainnet. In the Q2, they are hopefully going to have Orbit Network product third party trading venue API released, and Q3 will be Orbit Network partner protocol. And this is where it's starting to shine for me at Q4 of 2021. An Orbit network open to third party brokers, asset managers, custodians, and trustees. So I see in a, in a year's time from now, I can see Orbit as a $1 billion market cap plus. Okay. And I, you guys might think, oh, that's exaggerated, but let's take just 10% of that. How about that? We take 100 million market cap. I mean, now it's sitting at nothing it's sitting at around four million dollars i think 3.5 maybe depending on the price it's so early guys and i'm so excited to be actually announcing this project well not announcing it's already out but kind of coming out on youtube and anyone that watches this and gets excited like me i'm very happy for you guys let's get into it and let's huddle our bags so let's focus more on the freeway token. And what is the freeway token? Well, the freeway token, what it does is it fuels orbit operations so as to leverage the power of network effects for greater total returns on the world's top investment products. FWT are the native utility tokens for orbit freeway, a groundbreaking new asset management platform built for greater total returns on the world's top investment products and asset classes. They've done a bit of calculations and simulations show up to 75% additional annual gains could be possible with no extra risk. And freeway token provides users with discounted trading and service fees. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of beneficial factors to have the freeway token. For me, it's mainly for the discounted trading and service fees. This is great for me because 
I can see using this application, okay? And the volume that I do, I'm not gonna declare the volume, but the volume I do, just be getting a 20, 25% reduction in fees. It's worth it for me. It's worth it for me completely to hold freeway tokens. And I can see banks also, when you have a million, two million, five million, five hundred million order, you are obviously gonna want to take the fees and buy the FWT. So here on the website, you have the one page if you want to access the light paper, the deck and the token metrics. And let's take you guys to the token metrics, which looks like this. Right now we have basically, you can see everything here. The token name FWT, the token type is an ERC20 token, which means that it works under the Ethereum mainnet. And we have total supply of 10 billion FWTs, a hard cap of 2.75 million. Okay, this is why I look at the hard cap as well, because if the hard cap is too big, it's not really that interesting anymore for me. And the hard cap is 2.75 million, which is quite decent for such a project, which means that the maximum allowance of dollars the project will take is 2.75 million before they actually come out with their tokens. Seed sale was $500,000 and the private pre-sale around 10 days or two weeks almost ago now was 2.25 million. Okay. The initial market cap when the token was released was $662,500 with the initial circulating supply of 530 million out of the 10 billion. So how do we get this initial market cap? Well, if you times the circulating supply and we have had this question quite a lot, you times the mode or you multiply whatever you like times multiply. I don't know what goes in your head. But for me, I use times, I don't use multiply. If you times 530 million by the price of the token when it's getting released, you'll get the initial market cap of 662,500. So what will the price be? Well, you do the same thing, but vice versa. So you take the initial market cap and you divide it by the circulating supply to receive the price of the token, okay? The estimated listing date was on October, which already is done. And then blah, 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 this is all for pre-sale. But now when we look at this, the private pre-sale is going to be the same price as when the token gets released. So this is the first thing that I do. I analyze and I say, okay, I'm getting to the pre-sale and it comes out the same price. Is it worth it or should I just buy it? If I really like the project, I can see maybe that it's better to buy the pre-sale because it gives me a guaranteed access to the freeway tokens, okay? Even though it gets locked, it's, I rather still buy for this price because the minute it comes out on Uniswap, and I'll show you why it can do the 2x very quickly and then accidentally you might be paying double, okay? We had the seat sale. The price was 0.0008333 cents of a market cap of 500,000. And the private pre-sale, which I got into, was 0.00125 cents. And the cap metric was 2.25 million. So when you add these, this is how you get the uh, maximum cap, which is 2.75 million, okay? And this is what the they're gonna use basically for liquidation, for marketing, for product development and etc. which I think is quite a decent amount. So before I go through the vesting periods, I just want you guys to look at that because I think this makes it a bit simpler in a lot of people's eyes. And this is basically the freeway token allocation. So let's start here from early investors. Around three years ago, we had early investors. They get 8% of the 10 billion, okay? 8% of 10 billion, what is that? That's 800 million tokens out of 10 billion for the early investors. 6% goes to seed sale, which is 600 million tokens. 18% goes to the private pre-sale, which is 1.8 billion tokens. 3% goes to community incentives. 21% goes to locked proof of stake rewards pool. 2% goes to floating liquidity. 10% for the team. 4% for advisors. 10% for partners, and we've got 8% expansion and ecosystem partners, and 10% for treasury, okay? And I think this looks quite, quite good, okay? We, have, we don't have too much for private pre-sale. We don't have too little for proof-of-stake rewards. The floating liquidity is quite decent. The team is quite decent as well because I've seen quite a few projects that uh, the team has a quarter or has 20%, and I'm just like, okay, fair enough, but... Why are you taking 20%? Why are you taking 25%? It's quite a lot. And I know that treasury is 10% and team is 10%, but treasury will be used for other things, not just for the team directly. And I think taking 10% for such a great project, it's decent. So we have the initial circulating supply of 530 million initially, okay? And 
To make it very clear to you guys, just so you know, because I don't want you guys to just go and jump into freeway token. So this video is not about jumping into freeway token. It's more about understanding the freeway token, understanding Orbit. So you have basically less questions about it and so that you understand it. And I want this to be a video that you can easily go and send to your friends and be like, hey, I've got a project that I find very interesting. And then if they ask you questions, you can just tell them, look at this video and it kind of explains everything. So if you like it, if you like this kind of video and you want me to continue talking about different projects like this in depth about the token metrics, please hit the subscribe button, like it, comment up as well if you think I forgot anything about Orbit. All right, so we have a 530 circulating supply and how much is getting released? So what's the issuance of tokens per month? Because that is very important. If next month, 2 billion comes out, the project looks completely different in my eyes because then you it's, you have too much supply suddenly jumping in and then you know what people do usually they dump it when there's a 10x 5x because they get greedy and then the, the price will just drop heavily and it will worry a lot of people so a lot of people get worried when the price drops so i will explain to you what will happen we have the seed sale 10 percent was released immediately 15 percent was released immediately for the private pre-sale we don't have to worry about the 12, 12 months or the 24 months let's just look at the first six months for now and then we're going to look at six to 12 months okay we have treasury the first month you don't have to worry about that but it has a one month lock after it and it's 0.5 percent vested monthly so after the first month there's going to be 0.5 percent of circulating supply issuance of the treasury and the treasury is what? The treasury is 10%. So 10% would be 1 billion and 0.5% of 1 billion is 5 million tokens. So every month from here, 5 million we got. Six months, six months, not a worry. Floating liquidity. What's floating liquidity? It's around 6%. No, sorry, 2%. Okay, which is 200 million. And this is how you get the numbers, basically. If you, you get this one coming out on the supply the first day, and no more. So floating liquidity is stuck on 2%, which is 200 million. We also got 15% release from the private pre-sale. And as you can see, the private pre-sale was 18%. So if you take 18% of 10 billion, you get a total for the private pre-sale of 1.8 billion. Of that 1.8 billion, 15% gets released immediately, which is 270 million. For the seed sale, you do the same calculation and 10% release immediately from the seed sale gives you around 60 million. Okay, so when you add 60 million, you add 270 million. All right, and what else do we have? We also have the 200 million from the floating liquidity. It gives you a number which is 530. And this is how they get the numbers. So when you start getting used to the numbers, it, got, it becomes very much easier to understand the project and the token as a whole. So as we're focusing for the first six months, we've got 9% monthly thereafter for the seed sale and 17% monthly thereafter for the private pre-sale. And we've got obviously the 0.5% vested monthly. And I've done the calculations for you. So what we will have for the first five months, well, for the first six months after the first month starting, for, so from month one to month five, we're going to have basically 365 million tokens issuance per month. Okay, so we are starting with 530. After the first month, we're going to have 895 million. The second month, we're going to add another 365 million to the 895 from basically the treasury and from the seed sale and private pre-sale, which gets us to 1.26 billion tokens. On the third month, we're looking at 1.625 billion. And take a paper if you want and write it down and pause the video just to make your life a bit simpler. So we have fourth month, 1.99 billion. Let's call it 2 billion just to make it a bit easier for us. On the fifth month, we have 2.355 billion. Okay, so we have 2.355 billion on the fifth month. And why am I stopping here now? Because the private pre-sale issuance is over. So now you can scrape that and we have basically on the six month, this is going to continue for 10 months. But on the six months, I'm looking what's going to happen. We've got a six month lock here, which means that the co after six months, the whole community incentive token will be issued. And how much is that? That's 3%. Okay, a 3% is not much, but it adds up to it. So I've done my calculation actually after... And we have also the early investors, which gets basically 24 months vested. So you check basically how many coins the early investors have, which is 8%, and you divide it by 24, and this is how much monthly you get. 
all right so this is also like a little math class right here and then we've got a few more months of seed sale going so i've done the calculations and after this pre-sale is finishing from five months after this is done basically we are moving from 365 million per month we are moving to 392 so it's going up actually 0.3 million but only for one month and the case is because we are gonna have 300 million from community incentive coming out but once the six month is over the issuance after six months because this is over now we this is finished already this is 24 months vesting this is 0.5 percent vested from six months to 10 months we have also this then which is going to be then in total from six to ten months we're going to have only 92.3 million okay and then after the 10th month when the seed sale is over from the 10th to the 12th month we only have and this is what's the beauty guys and this is why i think the project is going to blow up from after six months but it's going to blow up even more from 10 to 12 months from now and i'll tell you guys why because we, I, as i told you guys we had the two point three five five billion on the fifth month okay on the sixth month we had 2.74 billion out of the total supply which is quite a big increase but look at this now from 2.747 billion on the sixth month on the seventh month it's only increasing very low it's only going to 2.83 billion then it goes to 2.93 billion then it goes to 3.024 billion then 3.116 then 3.154 then 3.193 and it might be too quick to get for you guys leave the comments below if it was too quick i can write you guys a nice little article maybe or something like that that clearly shows or maybe even send a picture of my paperwork here but as you can see from the six month we're gonna have 2.747 billion out of 10 billion which is around around 24 percent but then from the 6th to the 12th month there's nothing happening guys no issuance not much issuance compared to before and this is when we're going to see the supply shock so anybody that's selling now i want to give them a very very clear advice from my perspective as a friend this is not financial advice though that if you go into the pre-sale and you're getting greedy for five six x and you're selling okay this is nothing yes fair enough you're thinking oh there's going to be a lot of supply circulating extra but the project is also going to be bigger. The project is also going to market and be huge. So think about it. In six months, when the issuance drops from 365 million, yeah, to a mere 90 million, I mean, I can't wait for it. For me, that's incredible. Incredible. And then after that, we have this over. No more issuance for the private pre-sale. Then we have a, f a bit more treasuries left. We've got early investors still there we've got no community incentives is finished we've got floating liquidity is finished then we're going to be looking at expansion and ecosystem partners partnerships advisory team proof of stake rewards and these are going to add after the 12 months they're going to add to the issuance again and i want to update you guys based on every project that i'm talking about each and every month let's say okay each and every month so i'm going to be talking about this project in a month's time again and i'm going to let you guys know what happened and what i think will perform based on that and let's actually move on to where you can buy the project so you can buy the project in two ways you can go on the bitham global exchange and you can buy it there very simply and if you're planning to buy 50 dollars 100 dollars and you're not used to uniswap this is the only way you can get it okay and this is good because the pr price does not fluctuate as much as in uniswap so as you can see here the price is fluctuating quite a lot but if you look at the same four hour candle and you're looking on the uniswap which is here dex tools but it's going through the uniswap it's taking those you can see here how it jumped incredible but as you can see it went from 0 0.48 0 0.5 to 1.15 whereas here it didn't do that it went from one less it went one nearly from 0 0.01 and it went down to 69 so you can see the volatility on uniswap is quite high so please if you buy from uniswap make sure your slippage is not too high and always pay high gas fees because there are bots and what they do is they buy before you and i'll show you i'll show you here right now and this is how a bot will look like here right there as you can see the same the same address what they do is that this person wants to buy a lot okay 10.5 ether he wants to buy that's quite a lot of money mate that's around four thousand plus dollars what the bot will do, 
the bot will buy this much and you can see here the same number this is the same number exactly so it buys before him puts a higher gas fee so it gets in line before the person buys which makes the price of the person paying for their tokens because their slippage is quite high and they paid lower fees it makes it more expensive so as you can see, the price have went from 6.4 to 6.7. And unfortunately, what the bot does then after, it sells it automatically. So that's within seconds, guys, within minutes here. You can see within minutes, it's buying the same amount of tokens for 4.99 Ether, and it gets 5.26 Ether after it pays its ETH fees. So on top of paying the ETH fees, this bot just made 0.26, I mean, incredible, 0.26 in a minute Ether. So make sure when you do buy in Uniswap, your slippage is very, very, very low. I mean, like 1% is good, 0.5, 1% is good. But make sure also that you do pay, please, please, you do pay high ETH fees, even if it's $10. I mean, if that's what I'm saying. If you're going to buy only $50, $100, go on BitHump. Very simple. Okay, but if you're gonna buy 10, 20, 30, 50, $100, you, it's not really worth it to pay the ETH fees. It's not really worth it to have a slippage that low. Just go on BitHump. They have no KYC even. Very, very simple. And here what I'm trying to do right now, I'm trying to get on CoinGecko and show you guys how you can buy from Uniswap. So obviously you need to have MetaMask, which looks like that. It's the extension browser. Or you need to have something called My Ether Wallet or whatever. You just need to have an Ether Wallet basically that can connect to websites such as Uniswap, okay? So, sorry, I'm getting confused here. What, what am I looking for? I'm looking for FWT, freeway token on CoinGecko, and then you can find it here very easy, the price, and it's minus 24%. I mean, guys, I want to clear to you that when you have a 10x, it's very normal to look at 20, 30 minus percent. I've talked about it before. Same with Bitcoin. When it goes up, doubles, triples, a 30% correction is very, very normal. I mean, 10 days ago, it was around 0.0015, okay? The private pre sale was 0.00125, okay? And the seed sale was 0.00083. So you can see here, if you go into the private pre sale or you bought it in the first three, four days, you're looking at the 4, 5x already. So to have a minus 30% or minus 25% and then actually be FUD. Have, uh, have fat and start ba basically being worried and blah, 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 and saying that this is not a good coin. And I want to warn you guys as well that YouTubers mainly talk about coins, okay? And I know a lot of YouTubers, I don't want to name them, but I used to watch them until I realized actually that they only talk about coins when it's already pumped, okay? And when you're looking at your YouTuber now that you're looking at the most and at the tokens he talks, when is the last time he talked about token that is minus 24%? Not often because it doesn't look good on him, okay? It looks much better to say, hey, guys, look at this token. It's very good. I've talked to you about it a year ago, and you know now it's my plus 50%, okay? Plus 50%. If I wanted to do that, I would have talked to you guys about it two days ago, okay? Or three days ago, because look at that pump here. But I decided to talk to you guys about it when I have most information, valuable information about it, and when the price is actually a decent price. So we have seen a high there and now a low, and it's a very good time to get into it, okay? And only nine days ago, we have 347% gain by itself already. So I'm getting a bit too into it, and that's I'm kind of just chatting here. But the main thing here is that you can check the contract here. This is very, this is very important, okay? The contract is here. This is where the website is. Etherscan. This is the explorers, and then you can also go on social such as Twitter and Telegram. And I would recommend you to join the Twitter and Telegram, but mainly Telegram. You can follow that tele Twitter, but Telegram is important, guys. And the way you can actually buy from me, so if you're not, uh, if you don't know yet, you can go onto markets, and very simply you can press here. So it shows you where you can buy them, and that's for every project. You go on markets, it shows Uniswap, Bitham Global, how much volume, etc. So you can go press on here. Also, just to warn you guys, on Bitham it's only freeway token to USD Tether. On Uniswap you can use any ERC20, so you can use USDT on Uniswap or Ether, okay? And you're gonna understand, and here you have the freeway token. If if you want to be double sure and check, you can also press on the contract, you can copy it, and when it asks you for the token, you could just paste it here, and bam, add it, okay? And as I wanna show you guys that you can use anything. So you can use USDT also 
here to buy freeway token. Let's say I want to use one dollar. It shows me the root USDT to wrapped ether to freeway token now it's always bad to use ether because when you use ether it goes directly to freeway token this is the price impact and the liquidity provider fee but you press here for the slippage guys press here and make sure your slippage is 0 0.5 to 1 percent please okay and when you do actually end up to swapping it you have to connect your wallet with the metamask if you do end up using it with a low slippage make sure you pay high fees as well don't be buying two three thousand dollars worth on uniswap and basically not pay high fees okay i have people that do that sometimes i know people that do that and they care about five six dollars but it's nothing if you invested in three thousand dollars or one thousand dollar in freeway token and you can see the project blooming becoming five ten maybe even fifty thousand hopefully your investment why do you care about ten dollars really because i'm telling you that ten dollars that you're saving will get you one percent less on freeway token or two percent less of freeway tokens and that will end up being more than ten dollars okay so i mean it doesn't make sense to pay five dollars less just because you don't want to pay high ether fees if you're going to use 20 30 dollars of course a 10 20 dollar ETH fee is not worth it then just go to bithump okay and you can just register here and then you can just uh, go on markets and when you go on usdt you can go on fwt here and it shows freeway token okay sorry if my phone has been just going a bit crazy let me mute it and yes so this is the price chart and you can just simply buy here just as like binance just like um coinbase you have a buy sell order and that's it that's how you buy the freeway token let's continue now and let's get into the socials this is their twitter they have at orbit network and you can follow them you can press that as well so they, you get the latest announcements straight, the bell button here. It tells you basically a few things. And it's also good. I mean, if you've got a Twitter account, it's always good to be following the investments. Yeah. Don't just follow people that are YouTubers. Don't just follow um, magazines and stuff like that. Okay. Follow the investment projects. I mean, I can't say more to that, to be honest. And, oh, another social, another social right here. Telegram, guys telegram we've got orbit speculation but let's focus on the orbit community okay and this is the orbit community here this is the orbit official community so when you type orbit community here it will come up and make sure you join we have also the orbit announcement team here the orbit announcement team with very nice pin messages and stuff like that we have the orbit community questions group you can ask you can basically ask questions between 10 i think and 12 midday for two hours, you can ask questions, then it will be muted. And then every week on Tuesday, they will pick the best five or six questions or whatsoever and answer them. I mean, the AMA this week was beautiful. Very good questions answered. And also, if you want to speculate on the price, ask questions. And I'm quite often in there also. It's the Orbit Speculation Unofficial. So my name is Ali. And if you will see me quite often speak here, whenever I have time, you know, just to basically get into the community, understand the community, see what they feel like. What do you feel like? Talk about it, you know, and the members have increased drastically. So only five, six days ago, this was around 500 members. And now we are seeing 1,736. And guys, I can prove to you right now that if you ask any questions, straight away gets answered. So you see here, 12, 11, 10, 10. Look how many messages you have each and every minute, especially on this. So we have already 239 extra messages that I have not read since I've recorded the video, which was 30 minutes ago. And which takes me now to the last piece of news because it's been quite a long video, guys. But this is what I want to do. Talk to me about the comments. Let me know if you want to see more of those kind of videos. If it was too long or if you think it was good. Because I want to make sure that each video is dedicated on one beautiful gem project. A project that I can see basically go 10 hundred x from now so i'm not going to be talking about bitcoin i'm not going to be talking about like uh, ethereum because everyone's talking about it so you can find many youtubers for that but i want to make sure that i really go deep dive into the project okay i want to be that kind of youtuber that when people come and they say hey i think this project is good it's new and there's no videos yet talk about it then i go i read the white paper i read what the team's about i join the telegram understand the community ask them how i they think i should make the video i will talk about the token issuance and the token sale basically which i just did right here this is very important guys if you want to invest in any project any project even bitcoin ethereum right now you need to look at token metrics okay 
Don't just let somebody on YouTube say, hey, 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 500 Ether. Hey, 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 uh, 20,000 next month Bitcoin and you put your money there. Because I can guarantee you, if you actually look at the last two, three years of people on YouTube, most of them, what they do is they just sell you crap. Okay, I mean, Bitcoin Ethereum is not crap, obviously, but they sell you crappy news. They don't talk about the project, what it does necessarily deep dive. They don't talk about the issuance token. So if you like this video, subscribe, follow, do all these kind of things to help me support this channel. And let's talk about the last one. It's a big one. We've received that on the November the 12th, which was only, I think, yesterday. Yes, it was. Green Bank. Okay. Green Bank Portfolio Company announces investment in $3.2 million of Orbit's freeway tokens. They haven't said that they directly gave $3.2 million of into orbit now but they have announced the investment so it could be 1 million 2 million 3 million but the point here is that this is locked 400 million tokens 400 out of 10 billion tokens is being locked for 12 months and these kind of companies they don't touch the investment if it goes 10 hundred x they keep it for the long run because they know better and that's the point that it just came out 10 days ago and we've got such a big portfolio company just in having a 3.2 million dollar 300 million tokens which is four percent guys by the way okay just so you know four percent of the total circulating supply green bank has it already and this is almost like bitcoin but even quicker imagine another five four three big companies coming and doing the same thing scooping another 400 another 200 half a million nothing is left from the circulating supply and what happens is the token will explode so you don't need necessarily a market cap what you calculate for the price i mean they could put 1 million in there and the market cap could go could go more than to 3 million and we have discussed that in previous videos for each dollar bitcoin's market cap doesn't go up a dollar it goes up 20 to 100 dollars and same thing here so if you're worried actually and saying to yourself hey there's 530 530 million tokens right now and in four months there's going to be two billions four times that means the market cap has to be four times bigger for my same investments. Yes, you're right, but also not right. And you have to research that yourself. I'm not going to spoon, spoon feed you here. The market cap does not always reflect the circulating supply times the token price. Because sometimes supply gets locked up, gets lost whatsoever. But with a new project, usually that's not the case. But with Bitcoin, that is the case very much so. Okay. And this was it for the video, guys. Thank you so much. This was a dedicated video about Orbit and why I thought it was good and what it does and everything. And I'll hopefully see you guys with another beautiful project that I want to speak about that I can see doing great, great potentially in the next year or two or even three months. And if you have any comments, if you want to let me know any project that you think I can speak about, let me know. And I want to also let you know, guys know that I will not be speaking about shit coins, okay? So when I get actually a token to analyze and I think it's not a good coin, even if it does 10x, it's not about the price only. If I think the fundamentals are not there, if I think the team is not great, if I'm not 100% sure that this team in my perspective is legit, I will not talk about it because I want this YouTube channel to be one of those channels that is legit. I want everyone here, the whole community of CryptoByte to become rich, okay? I don't want them to become poor. Because people, I'm telling you, YouTubers don't care. They're making money from you. They don't care if you lose, if you think. It doesn't matter to them. And that's why they keep telling you, go to Bybit. You get a $400 uh, free if you put one Bitcoin. I mean, it's rubbish, guys. You get into the, you're going to get into the leverage, lose your money, and they're laughing because you know what? They're going to get $400 free as well. So this is nothing to do with investments. i um pushing you guys to uh, sign up to this or sign up to this. This is just very clear information. If you liked it, share this like it, subscribe, do all kinds of sorts of things, support me, and I'm going to be seeing you guys soon. Peace out. Bye.